Hi friends, I am Kim. You are watching English Speaking with Kim. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, which is English Speaking with Kim. And if you are watching my video first time, don't forget to subscribe it. You have to just put your finger on the subscribe button. You will be subscribed automatically. Friends, our today's topic is prepositions. Our today's topic is prepositions. Let's see how to use prepositions while making sentences into English. You know friends, if you want to really learn how to use prepositions while making sentences into English, for that uh, you should, you should, you can only understand proper use of pre prepositions by using them into sentences. So you should make lot of practice regarding prepositions. Let's see here some sentences regarding particular uh, prepositions. I have written here important and which uh, the pro, pro prepositions which we use maximum time while speaking into English. First is near. Means near means around us. To show the proper meaning, we always use near. The bag is near the table. Means it is showing that the bag is around the table. At, we use at to show the particular situation, the particular place as well as it also shows the particular time. Let's see the examples. He was at the bus stop. Means he was at the bus stop means that particular place. I came at 2.30 p.m. Means it, it is here at is working to show the particular time. So you can use at maximum time before maximum times before the time whenever you want to show time in a sentence you should always use at before the time means at 1 pm at 12 30 at 4 15 am in this way you can use at and at is also used as a uh, with uh, verbs means uh, with phrases he is looking at me. Look at in the phrase and it, it, used, it is used here with the look. He is looking at me. The next preposition is to. To shows the relationship between two things, between two nouns. I go to school. Here is showing the relation between I and the school. Throw the ball to me. In this way, you can use to to show relationship and as well as to show the action. So the next is from. From shows the particular place as well as the particular time period too. Let's see in those ex in the examples. I came from Mumbai. Here is the from is showing the relationship relationship with the particular place i he works he works from 9 am to 5 pm means here from is working to show the time period 9 am am to 5 pm friends next preposition is with ram plays with his friends means ram plays with his friends I go to school with my friends. In this way, you can make more sentences with, uh, with, with preposition so that you will understand how to use with, with as a preposition. Next is by. By shows the device. It is used to show the device which is used, with, uh, which is used by the subject of that sentence. I go to office by bus means I use bus to go to my office in this way and as well as you can also make other sentences I go to office by train cut the lemon by the knife in this way cut the paper by the scissors in this way you can use by next is about about is used to show more information whenever you want to show more information about that particular thing at that time you can use about 
and about has also uh, other meaning too but here we uh, learn how to use about as a preposition he was talking about the temple means here about is working me uh, the temple means he was telling something more information about the temple next is on on show the relationship between two things between two nouns maximum time it is used to show the relationship between two things book is on the table means book is on the table and we use on with all day names means on monday on sunday on tuesday on friday on saturday on thursday in this way on is used with all day names as well as to show the relationship between two things next is in friends in is used to show where the subject is means to show the particular place it is used in means in that particular uh, thing means in the room in the office in this way let's see in the example i am in the office means i am in the office and we should also we use in with all names of months in may in june in january in february in december in july in this way we can use in before the months as well as we use in before the morning before the evening means in the evening in the morning in the afternoon in this way we should use in before morning afternoon as well as evening let's see next preposition next is for for is used to show the relationship the subject and the particular thing means it it shows the purpose of the action this car is for sale means the car is for sale means the purpose of the car is to sell and we should we also use for with all with all pronouns as a form of case with case of all pronouns for me for him for me for him for her for us for them for you in this way for it in this way we use for to show the relationship with the pronouns as a form of case the next is before before is used to show two kind of meanings it shows the time period as well as it is used as a in front of two let's see in the examples think before speaking means here in first sentence before is working to show the time period means you should uh, think before speaking the next example is the thief was produced before the judge means that thief that may be someone was produced before the judge means he was produced in front of the judge in this way you can use before and uh, friends i will suggest you to make proper practice of pronoun you should make lot of sen sentences regarding each kind of preposition because if uh, we can't learn preposition only by their definition if we use them into sentences then we get automatically sense how to use them proper place sometimes before uh, first uh, first time you will make many mistakes but don't worry if you keep practicing then you will automatically get sense how to use prepositions friends i hope you must have understood how to use prepositions while making sentences while making sentences into english keep practicing and be more and more fluent fluent english speaker if you are watching my video first time don't forget to subscribe my channel which is english speaking with km you have to just put your finger on the subscribe button and then you will be subscribed automatically have a nice day keep practicing thank you 
very much.